Hi guys and welcome to another Hero of the Week. There is an expression used in Italy which translates as don't upset the quiet ones. Which brings us to our hero, Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford. Now the Labour leader is normally a very calm and collected individual but here his buttons were pressed by a Tory member of the Welsh Assembly and Mark was not going to take any crap from a representative of a party that had just trashed not just the English economy but also the Welsh one which has made life much more difficult for people there. Have a listen to the quiet man lose his rag. And a government that is responsible for the health service has a solution to the problems that Mr Morris and other families are feeling day in, day out. Well, so if the uh, prescription of the Welsh Government is to invest more money in the ambulance service, to have more staff working in the ambulance service, to have a wider range of people able to provide those services and for ambulances to know that when they arrive at hospitals that the hospital will be in a position to receive that patient so that the ambulance can get back on the road again and attend in a timely way to other people who are waiting. That is the prescription of the Welsh Government. Uh, what do people who work in the service, and as I say, they'll have heard the way that the members describe the service they provide this afternoon, what do they face? They, 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 let's, let's, he has chosen to use that language this afternoon. He didn't, yeah, yeah, he, and you have chosen to use that language here this afternoon. And what do those people face? They face cuts to their pay because of the policy of your government. And now, now they face cuts to the budget that the health service itself will have at its disposal. It is shocking, it is absolutely shocking to me that you think that you can turn up here this afternoon with a mess that your party has made to the budget of this country, to the reputation of this country around the world, that you promise those people that there will be more to come and you think you turn up here this afternoon and claim some sort of moral high ground? What sort of world do you belong in? Can we, can, can we? Well done. I love this guy. I love Mark Drakeford. Now, it's important to remember that while in Scotland, the SNP and the independence movement is marching forward, yes. Um, in Wales, it's a different situation. You have the independence movement in Wales, but the Labour leader, the Labour First Minister, Mark Drayford is well respected because he works with different parties, also independence parties, for the good of the people of Wales. He's popular because he cares about people in Wales. And, you know, you have a, a Tory coming up, a Tory appearing here in the House of, uh, sorry, in the Welsh Assembly, talking about what is the Welsh Government going to do about this or that or whatever. When in reality, the Welsh government has li very limited powers. It's not able to raise taxes in the same way that Westminster can. It's not able to deal with the crisis, the, the cost of living crisis, in the same way that Westminster can. Its hands are tied and it's doing the best it can. And you have this Tory criticising it, pulling up these stories about you know what people are going through, which is a real concern for those people and it's a real problem these people are facing but ignoring the fact that his party the conservative party have created this problem have damaged the uk reputation on the world stage have driven austerity and are driving a new version of austerity so you can't get away from that you can't criticize the welsh government for trying to do the best it can while its hands are tied and <clears throat> excuse me and it's great that you know you have a, a first minister in wales who's standing up to this standing up for the people of wales standing up against the tories that's why he's our hero of the week you know he's a very calm person very collective always remaining as you know as polite as as possible but you can see here he was really rattled his hands were shaking he was deeply upset he can't take any more of this crap and that's why he's our hero of the week let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.